What's up, y'all? I am out here walking and... I'm trying to get my life right. So I was just sitting here thinking about some of the things that I have coming up. And I'm really excited about all of the mortgage information that I'm gonna be bringing to y'all. So I don't know how long I'm gonna hold this, but why did I just think of walk mortgage with me? Walk mortgage with me. You know how they say talk dirty to me? Walk mortgage with me. And I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about some of the things that is going on right now. Hopefully, I don't have a stabilizer or anything because this was not planned, but I just had so much that I was thinking of. I was like, dang, let me pull out my camera, right? So yesterday it was announced that Fannie Mae, Fannie Mae, whenever you see Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, just think convert conventional. Typically when people were interested in purchasing a multi-family property, a multi-family property, <laughs> there is a lot of talk around multi-family properties, um, multi-family, sorry, I got a little accent but <laughs> all right so yeah you hear people and they're like oh i'm gonna get a multi-unit property i don't know if it's multi or multi y'all i'm just gonna blame it on me walking but we're gonna go with it but the first thing that they talk about is fha because with fha loans you're able to put down three and a half percent and as long as you're willing to reside in one of the properties you can put down that low down payment and still essentially become an investor, which is what most people want to do. They want to figure out how to make money while living in their property. Whew, I should have brought, I'm literally holding this up. So I don't know how long it's gonna be, but I said, walk mortgage with me. Maybe we'll make this a thing. Maybe not, because I have been walking a lot lately. Usually I just listen to podcasts, but okay. I think that's a little bit better. So yeah. People go straight to FHA because the down payment is still three and a half percent. If you're doing a four unit, two to four unit property and it's conventional, you would have had to put down either 15% down payment, that's if it's two units, or if it's three to four units, then you would have to put down, I think, 25%. Ciao, walk mortgage with me. <laughs> yesterday, well, not yesterday, but this week, I want to say it was probably two days ago, Fannie announced that they are going to be allowing borrowers to put down a minimum of 5% for two to four unit properties. So that is amazing because right now, if you have a one unit property, you can put down either 3% if you're a first time home buyer or if you haven't owned a property within the past three years, or if it's your primary, you can put down 5%. When I found out this news, I immediately was like, oh, let me post this on Instagram because this is great news. And it is, because it just allows people to look at other properties that they normally wouldn't seek out because the down payment would be too large for them. It's a game changer, right? Oh, uh, y'all look at this, walk mortgage with me. So there's a little friend that we have. Let's see if they're gonna move. Sometimes they will stand right there while you pass them. Hi. They'd be like, are you a friend or are you a foe? Okay. I'm not mean, y'all. And usually it'd be more than one, so you gotta be careful. You gotta look out. Let's see. All right, so I'm back. Uh -oh, it's kind of blurry. All right, so now that people can do this with a conventional loan it's even better because usually loan limits are higher on a conventional loan right the loan limit is the maximum amount that a lender will lend on conventional so that's really good that opens up opportunity for people who want higher purchase prices and it's good for us because we just need some good news in the mortgage industry like they're trying to get us up out of here okay so I just finished coming up a hill, y'all. So bear with me. Whew. So there's this TikTok, it's so funny. It's like when you're outside running or walking and then you pass them by somebody, and you, gotta, you gotta be like, hey. And then you pass them and you act normal. And then when they pass you, you be like, Ciao. So bear with me because I've been walking, but I have on a hoodie. So I'm a little bit hotter in this hoodie. See, I got it rolled up, but Sometimes it's cool in the morning because 
Fall is right around the corner. Outside of that amazing news on multi-unit properties, I think the funniest thing was, I knew that when I posted it, I'm not trying to see my own horn, but I knew that I had not seen it on my timeline yet when I posted it. And I knew that once I did post it, it's content. So you don't want to keep news a secret because everybody's going to find out. But usually, as I always say, whenever there's a new program, sometimes realtors we, we be posting these fake programs or clickbait and people will be like, oh, can you do this? Can you? No. But when there are changes, guess who's the first to know? We are. We are. Mortgage professionals are the first to know any industry changes that impact the mortgage industry. So I found that it was interesting because as I knew it was going to happen, people started reposting, people started sharing, and I started seeing more and more people, mortgage professionals, post about it throughout the day because it is breaking news. But that just goes to show you, sometimes people be like, oh, my lender, my lender can do this. Like it's just a product that solely their lender can do. Here's the truth. Most good loan officers who've been in this industry for a long time, they have access to all of the programs, same programs for the most part. And if something new comes out within a matter of weeks or a month, everybody got it. So it's not more so the programs. I always tell people don't chase the program, chase the lender, because it's not about the programs that they offer. It's about how can they add value to you? What are some things that they can do? That's a whole nother video. I ain't even gonna get into that, but it's similar to like when they reduce mortgage insurance from 0.85 to 0.55. Lenders were posting it. If you notice all of these, oh, you can get this low interest rate or you can get this deal or this deal, anything that has to do with numbers related, loan officers and lenders don't post. And if they do post it, they shouldn't be posting it because that anything with a number can literally change overnight. So by the time you see it, you come to me asking for a deal that's already gone. And because our NMLS ID is attached to it, we have to operate within compliance. This was exciting news. Um, it just means that people who are interested in a multi-unit property, they don't have to come out his pocket as much and they have more options in deciding if they wanna do FHA versus conventional. Now keep in mind, there are still some reasons why FHA might be more attractive for you when you're looking to purchase a home. One thing is FHA is a government loan, so they're gonna have a little bit more lenient requirements when it comes to credit and debt to income ratio. So if you don't have the best credit, just now you can ask your lender to compare. We always love a good comparison. You don't have to just do one option if you're trying to put down a low down payment. I say that to say, if you get a if you get an FHA pre-approval on a multi-unit property, don't be like, well, why, why can I get conventional? I heard that we can do conventional multi-unit also. You can, but maybe you can't, or maybe you can't. Maybe it's just not beneficial for you. That's why we definitely have to be cautious when we are celebrating all of these things because clients will think, I'm tired now. That's why we do have to be cautious because clients will think that something is better than the other when no, it's not better. It's just an additional option, okay? And now that you have that option, it allows us to provide peer approvals. Y'all, these spiders, they'd be so big. I don't know if you saw it, but it allows us, and when I say us, I mean it allows loan officers to have better options to pre-approve pre you and qualify you for. So it's not for you to go and say, I want a conventional four unit property. Allow them to see, say, hey, I want a multi-unit property. Can you please let me know which program best works for me? And then allow us to do our job. I've been walking for a little bit longer, but let me just tell y'all a little bit about this walk. So I have been trying to do better and get some outside cardio, clear my mind. Um, I just finished a three day fast with my friends and it's so crazy, y'all, this walk. So this used to be a plantation, right? And as you can see, there's cotton. So when we're walking, they actually have still like a, a slave, the slave houses. I just passed them. I'm so used to walking past them. I didn't even think to show y'all, but they have, um, of course they're torn down, but it's they just haven't touched them. So I guess it's for history. I don't know why they want us to see that history when we're walking in the morning, but it is what it is. And then, um, 
So normally I get down to the actual main house and then I turn around. So that full walk is like three and a half miles. I have been doing this trail for a while now, but sometimes I fall off as we all do with anything, but I'm trying to be more consistent and I'm starting to notice um, in my figure. Maybe I will continue to do this walk mortgage with me and I can just pick different things that I want to talk about with you all and just give you all a few minutes of my walk because once I complete this walk, it's a three and a half mile walk. You can go farther because nowadays, I think, um, I'm not gonna tell y'all where I'm at, but nowadays they create these trails going all through Atlanta and the surrounding areas. You can keep going. I remember for a year, so I keep switching my arm because my arm is tired, y'all. I always kept saying I was gonna get a bike so that way I can bike the trail because you'll see bikers on here. And it's, it's peaceful. Like you'll see people passing through, but it's not overly crowded. So I love that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna try to come back and keep doing this walk mortgage with me if y'all like it. But if y'all don't like it, I ain't gonna do it. I'm just gonna suffer in peace on my walk. <laughs> so yeah, I am almost to the big house. And like I said, this walk in total is three and a half miles for me. Cause I put on, of course, I don't have my Apple watch on today, but all the devices that let us know how much we walk, I've been doing it enough. It's about 3.54 miles. Once I get to the big house, that is 1.75. Your girl does mortgages, so I'm quick with it. <laughs> but I'm about to be on my 1.7 miles. So as you can see, that is why I'm sweating. I'm out of breath, but I'm gonna show y'all the main house. And then on my walk back, I'm going to not record. So that way I can get back into it because I do like to you know, be at one with nature and get ready for a hectic day of mortgages. Listen, mental health, if you're in the mortgage industry, is so important, child, because, hmm. All right, so this is the main house. Um, I don't know if you can see it back there. I actually did go back there and do like a tour. Not a tour, not a real tour, but me and like my family, we went over there and they have different write-ups about the property. That's the outhouse. All right, y'all, so this is the main house. And then I'll show you all the write-up. But once I reach here, I know I'm time to turn around. And this is where I turn around, okay? And this is the write-up on it. So the lion farm, I believe I showed this to y'all already. And you know, they talk about slavery, all that type of stuff. Yeah, again, if you like this, Talk, no, not talk to mortgage to me. Everybody does that. But we're gonna do walk mortgage with me. No, walk mortgage to me. Walk mortgage to me. I, I think I like it, what y'all think? We gonna try it out and you'll be able to get some unfiltered morning mortgage thoughts whenever I do walk y'all. Cause I am not gonna lie. I don't walk every day. I go to the gym too and some days I rest. But when I do go, maybe I'll pull out my camera for a little bit, okay? All right. I hope you like this walk mortgage with me. Maybe I'll do it again, maybe not child. But if I do do it again, I'll probably have to bring like my gimbal or something to hold because holding it with my hand is just not helping my arm. Okay, I'm trying to tone up, but not like this. Okay, so thank you so much. All right, Chic Mortgage Millennial out.